Hey guys, Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. Today we're taking a look at the Peak Design Leash camera strap. Now this here is the updated 2017 version, but I also have one of the old versions here which I've used for many years, and we're going to do a bit of a comparison between the two, see what changes they made and if they are improvements over the original. And that way, if you have an old one, then you might be able to figure out whether it's worth upgrading, and hopefully those that are considering the strap will get their questions answered as well. So, the leash is the smallest of Peak Design's camera straps. Uh, above this we have the slide and the slide light, but just because it's the smallest doesn't mean you can't use it with a DSLR. It's great with a mirrorless and a point and shoot camera, but I've primarily been using it with a DSLR. What I love about these is the compact nature of them. You see how small I can scrunch this up? everybody can find room for this in their bag. And if you're someone like me who often takes a strap off the camera because you put it on a tripod, it's nice to have something small that you can easily tuck away in your bag. I have a couple of these at least, and I put them in my main bags, and that way I always know that I have a strap in there of some sort. So when they changed the design to come to the 2017 version, there are a few differences. Let's start with the anchor system. So they have some new anchors. Now just quickly, if you're not familiar with the anchor system, this little round thing goes into the clip and then you just pull it tight like that. There's a nice positive click, really secure mechanism, and this will hold 200 pounds. So that's not gonna be uh, any problem holding your camera set up. Now with this new 2017 updated leash, there is a new anchor design, slightly easier to get in and out, backwards compatible with previous straps though. The main change is that this cord is much thinner. Now because it's thinner, it'll go through smaller eyelets in smaller cameras, like point and shoot cameras. So when it comes time to thread this into something, the smaller cord here is gonna make life much easier. So that's a nice little update. I guess the biggest thing probably with this change to the 2017 leash is that it now comes with an anchor mount. So this little thing here is a low profile anchor mount that goes on the base of your camera in the quarter 20 slot there. Best thing to do is for me to show you the base of the camera here and we'll rig this up because I've already got one installed on this camera. Now when you have an anchor mount on the bottom of the camera, it allows the carry to happen in a much different way. So if we're carrying the camera normally with your sort of traditional left and right side of the camera, when it's hanging down the side of your body there, the lens is sticking out and it's kind of getting in the way. Now if we switch this side, Let's flip this over, put it on the anchor mount like that. Now, when we carry the camera, you see how the lens actually goes down? So this now runs along the side of your body and points down. So it keeps the lens a little bit more protected and it certainly stops it banging around as much and bumping into other things. So that's why people want to mount on the bottom of the camera like this. Now their larger straps, the slide and the slide light, have always come with some kind of mounting plate for the bottom, but the leash didn't have that. So with the 2017 leash, it now has this new anchor mount. Now the black one comes with a black one, and the ash gray color comes with this little silver one here. So you get a few of these extra anchors, and that gives you some mounting options. So that's a really nice improvement over the previous one. Now, the other thing that they've changed, let me just flip back to this more traditional setup for the moment. Um, the other thing that they've changed is the strap adjustments. So on the old version here, let's grab this, um, you had a pretty standard plastic adjusting buckle there that we've seen on many camera straps and camera bags. Nothing too fancy about that. With this update though, we now have two adjustment points, one on either side, same as they've had on the slide and the slide light. And the reason that they have this is if you're carrying this camera over your shoulder diagonally, then one of these will be behind your back. So before you sling it over your shoulder, you adjust the length of the strap to get it in the right place with one of these. And then you have the second one in front of you. So you'll always have access to one or the other of these adjustment points. And that means that when you're carrying the camera around and it's kind of dangling around at your waist height, then that's one situation. But when it's time to come to shoot and you wanna pick the camera up and put it to your eye and actually move around and start shooting things, most people will want a little bit of extra length. So these are quick adjustment buckles 
and the one that's in front of you will allow you to make some fast adjustments there on the fly. And then this one that will be behind you, if you're carrying it sort of diagonally, uh, that will remain in the place that you set it to begin with. So you just kind of have that on the fly adjustment. And whether you are a left or right shoulder carrier, there'll always be one of these in front of you to make some fast adjustments. So the way this works, you can see that when there's tension on it, it's a really um, low profile setup on this buckle. And the way it works is you've got this little kind of rubber loop there. When you put your fingers through it, it adjusts the angle of this metal buckle there, and that releases, releases tension on the nylon strap there. So uh, if we pull from one direction like this, we can shorten the strap, and then from the other direction, we can lengthen the strap. And then when you put tension on the whole thing, kind of collapses into itself and it makes that real nice low profile design. So um, definitely an improvement there. You now have those two adjusters. And um, overall, I think that, you know, the whole thing is definitely improvement. Uh, it is $5 more expensive. It used to be $35. Now we're looking at $40. Um, now I would imagine that the justification for that really is that you get this anchor point. Whether or not you'll see value in that somewhat depends if you use uh, an L bracket on your camera or some other tripod plate, because if you have something like, uh, I have this three-legged thing L bracket here, if you have something like this on your camera already, then these have positions to mount straps and anchors to them already, so you won't be getting any additional value. I usually do have another tripod plate on my camera, so I won't be using this anchor mount, uh, but still, you know, $5 more expensive. Uh, to me, it's still a better uh, strap adjustment situation here. So I'm, you know, I'm happy to pay an extra $5 for it. Um, and I think that people will still find good value in that. Uh, you know, $40, I think, is a good price point for a decent camera strap. And this definitely is a very decent camera strap. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this one into rotation within my camera kit. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found that useful.